Hi guys, uh, this is Mithun and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this YouTube tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to zoom in on particular elements in your screen recordings using a wonderful software called Camtasia. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. As we can see, I have a bunch of websites opened up uh, on my Google Chrome browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip open the Camtasia recorder software and uh, it is going to take a bunch of seconds and uh, we don't really need to care about the cameras because uh, uh, it has nothing to do with the cameras and webcams so uh, right i'm gonna disable the microphone and system audio as well and uh, now i'm gonna make sure that the screen that uh, my computer has is selected properly and the resolution is also a uh, right one and after everything is uh, configured i'm just going to click on record if you want to actually have a voice over and enable your webcam you can also do that in this tutorial i'm not going to do that so that's just out of the question anyway so uh, i've started the recording with camtasia right now uh, the entire screen is screen is being recorded uh, now i'm going to just uh, scroll down and uh, click on a bunch of things and uh, move my cursor around a few elements on the screen because I want to illustrate how to actually uh, zoom and pan using uh, Camtasia's editor afterwards. Let's go to the next uh, particular uh, website. And as you can see, this is uh, onkia.com. It is an amazing website. It's a tech website. So we can actually highlight a bunch of text. And uh, later on in the uh, editor, we can actually zoom in and highlight this easily. And the third one is udemy.com. I'm actually going to scroll a bit to see uh how many things are available and uh, once i'm done i'm gonna click on the stop button and it is going to open up the camtasia editor the problem with camtasia editor is that it takes a lot of time to load and uh, even the camtasia editor's uh, recorder is not that uh, fluent when it comes to uh, recording the screen so i have actually made the switch to uh, pepo cloud and i've been using pepo cloud since the last seven months and I would recommend Pepper Cloud to anybody who's in serious uh, need for a professional grade uh, recording application. And plus, it is a web application. Unlike uh, Camtasia, you don't have to install uh, Pepper Cloud anywhere. Just get started with Pepper Cloud by going to peppercloud.com and uh, you're all set. Now, coming to the Camtasia editors panel, you can see that uh, our footage has been loaded in the media bin. And it has also been added to the timeline of this uh, editor. Now, uh, let's see uh, what we have recorded. So I've just played this uh, footage and as you can see, uh, whatever we did on the screen has been recorded. So I'm not going to play the whole thing. You know, I'm going to fast forward to a place uh, where we actually want to pan and zoom the elements. So let's say that uh, I'm going to have to I want to uh, zoom this particular uh, tutorial uh, published on honkia.com right where I highlighted the text so I'm gonna go to this section and uh, I'm gonna pretty much split it uh, by clicking on the by selecting the timeline footage and uh, clicking the S button on my keyboard now the clip has been split you don't really need to do this I'm just doing it uh, for the sake of like finding it later now uh, let's go to the animations panel as you can see we have an animations panel in the panel right away you can see there is a zoom and pan option so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna zoom it and uh, i'm gonna zoom it to this particular area and i'm gonna reduce the size of this location and i'm gonna uh, then move the cursor a bit move the cursor a bit and again i'm gonna actualize the size so uh now uh you can you know what i'm gonna scale to fit so when the footage goes to this particular area it actually uh, zooms in and then zooms out easily so that's a very simple illustration of how this works in uh, camtasia uh, so if you're somebody who's actually uh, struggling with this this is how simple it is with Camtasia. You can also add a bunch of other animations and you can also create very complex animations using this 
using this particular uh, option you can even drag it to uh, actually uh, make it really smooth and uh, you can even replay to see how it actually works as you can see that uh, it is a bit disruptive when it actually starts so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring it to this particular area and i'm going to uh, increase the size to this particular section to be very honest with you if i had not actually uh, uh, split the clip into two. I didn't have to actually deal with this. Uh, so you know what? Uh, let's remove the split. Let's undo everything. All right. So I have actually uh, removed the split that I made. So and now I can easily zoom in on this particular area or section by just uh, going to this area and uh, focusing on the area that I want to zoom into. As you can see, I want to make it look like this. And uh, in order to actually uh, remove the zoom, I'm going to just drag this pin to uh, a particular area where uh, this section is no more active on the screen. And I'm going to select the scale to fit option. Now, if you see, when, as soon as the clip moves from this location, it actually zooms in on that particular field and then quickly zooms out. So this is how easy it is to actually use this effect in Camtasia. You don't specifically need to do anything, but I always uh, do one thing that is pretty amazing uh, with Camtasia. I actually use uh, the callouts options uh, in the annotation panel. I actually use the callout options and in the callout options, you can see that there are uh, multiple shapes. Right, so uh, what I do is uh, I actually add a shape and I add a shape up till the end point uh, and uh, make my changes later on when uh, it is the right time. And uh, I actually uh, hide, bring it to a place where I'm really comfortable with it. And uh, then I'm going to resize it. Right now it is completely black. You don't have to have to really worry about it um, just for the illust illustrations purpose. Now I'm going to reduce the opacity. After reducing the opacity, now you can actually change the color as well. Usually I go with a yellow color because that's the default uh, uh, color that we use to highlight anything on the web or anywhere else. So let's actually go with the yellow color and maybe even increase the opacity a bit. Right. And uh, yep, that's how it actually works. But you know what? Right now there is something missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, use a transition on this particular uh, effect. It should be like uh, fades and uh, I'm going to add it to these uh, effects. So now as you can see it is really smooth and uh, a transition takes place at the beginning and end of that clip and when uh, the whole thing is done it actually zooms out so it that's how the professionals uh, usually do this with their uh, recordings and screen recordings and uh, even webcam recordings you can also do that unfortunately i didn't actually have any webcam recordings at the time because my web webcam was uh, exclusively being used by obs so the concept here is pretty simple and pretty unique it uh, remains uh, same with uh, every type of element that is on the screen. All you have to do is add the animations uh, from the animations panel and uh, play around with it in the settings of the animations panel or the properties panel in the right hand side corner. Once you are satisfied with that, uh, you can export the file. So that was the tutorial on how to actually zoom in and zoom out, zoom out of uh, particular elements using Camtasia and Camtasia editor. If you have any doubts, please drop them in the comment section below. If you want to see similar videos in future, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in my next tutorial. Till then, take care and bye-bye.